Hello! Welcome to Moonflower Tarot. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me, and the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, let's start. So the purpose of this video or tarot reading is to figure out who is spying on you. So who is spying on you, whether it's through binoculars, your social media, or even, you know, through dreams or what have you, you know, who is spying on you? Um, let's start. So we have three piles here, one, two, three. Each pile has a card uh, representing it. I'm going to count down from 10, and that's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the three piles starting now. And don't think about it too much, just go with the first image that resonated with you from the start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go right ahead and start with this pile, and I'm going to move the other piles out of the way. Okay, so pile one. So for this uh, image, or for this uh, teapot, so who is spying on you? Let's try to get some insight on this. So who's spying on you? Hmm. So here we have the Ace of Swords, the eight of cups and then we have the two of wands so ultimately i'm seeing here that this is somebody who's pretty ruthless um they tend to be the type to um do whatever they can to get what they want um they could be an air sign or just have air placements or have um, qualities of an air sign or um, traits of an air sign. Um, hmm. I'm seeing that this person might have blue eyes or like bluish color eyes. Um, I think they're probably kind of light in complexion. Um, if they don't have like blue eyes or light complexion, they may just be kind of like on the fair side, um, like more fair than most people um it seems like for some reason they feel like rejected by you for some reason um i'm sensing that they're sort of checking out your social media um instagram um facebook you know twitter whatever they are sort of seeing like pictures of you and images of you where you're like having fun and they're just thinking to themselves like okay they moved on without me um like they're feeling a bit rejected a bit left out in the cold for some reason and here we have the two of wands um so yeah i think this might have been like a third party situation this could even be like a romantic situation that you had with this person or maybe you were friends but somehow you're like there's distance between you now um like maybe you're not friends anymore or you're just not dating them anymore there was maybe like another third party situation involved either with them or with you um where yeah i think that's what ultimately caused the distance is maybe there was some infidelity or maybe like you moved on to better things um, or some kind of tension around that so let's try to get uh some more information here so we have mysterious mother we have the messenger and then we have afraid of the attic Okay, so I'm seeing with this person that they have some issues involving a maternal figure. This may not necessarily be their mother. It could be like their grandmother or their sister, um, maybe like an older sister or like um, like an older older like sibling or something um, who's female, or maybe even just like um maybe like even like an older cousin. I don't know. It's just someone who's older in their life who's female um some kind of nurturing figure in their life that they have some issues over um for some reason 
I don't know if that rings a bell. I'm almost getting the sense that you, for some reason, remind them of this person or remind them of feelings um, that are provoked by this person in their life um, who maybe they grew up with or something like that who, uh, I don't know, there's some uncomfortable feelings there with this with this uh, female sort of person in their life um, who's probably older than them. So they can maybe even have some narcissistic energy, like whoever this person is, um, like this female figure, older uh, sister, older cousin, grandmother, mother in this person's life. Um, and that's maybe why they have some issues uh, involving that. And then here we have the messenger. So it looks like you're going to hear pretty soon some news or some kind of um, some kind of intel or some kind of information, uh, either from like a friend or like a mutual acquaintance, or maybe you're going to see something on social media or something. You're going to see something, or you may you might even get some news directly from this person. But I'm really more so getting that this is going to be more like a messenger situation where. Um, it's going to be like something that you'll like some kind of information that you'll get that's from an unexpected source of some kind um, about this like you're gonna you're gonna be hearing about this and then here we have afraid of the attic so I'm getting that this person has some kind of real fear around exploring their darker sides um i don't know why i'm getting the sense that this person may have a lot of hair like facial hair or like a lot of body hair or like bushy eyebrows um i mean not necessarily in a bad way but you know they just have like thicker hair like it could be like thick or like coarser um hair but yeah this person has um sort of this fear of like exploring maybe darker sides of themselves that they may feel uncomfortable with or they don't want to acknowledge that about themselves so that might also ring a bell um you know what i'm also getting that with this messenger card they may be asking like your mutual friends or acquaintances or something like uh, another source um like a mutual source about you as well um, but I'm more so getting that you're going to find out something about this situation pretty soon um, through some kind of source, whether that's um, social media or through like a mutual acquaintance. Um, you're going to find something out that's kind of surprising here. Um, really surprising. Yeah, about this. Okay, so let's try to get some more insight. So here we have Nine of Swords. We have the five of wands and then we have ooh, and then we have the two of swords so yeah knight of swords five of wands and two of swords okay so i'm ultimately getting with this that yeah this person like i said is the type of person to do okay so they're, they're quite ambitious they're quite ambitious i'm getting some i really can't quite get a feel of their astrological placements but they do have the traits of an air sign but they could really be any sign um but they're kind of like by uh traits of an air sign i mean like they're a bit more on the rational side more analytical than emotional um they're not as like feelings oriented they're more like uh, like they take action from their mind, not their heart. Like that's the type of person they are. Um, neutral observation. This person's quite ambitious. Um, and I'm also getting the sense that they were a bit of a bookworm growing up. Like that kind of energy here. Um, and they also may, might have a tendency to feel a bit entitled to certain things that they may or may not actually be entitled to. Um, here we have the five of wands. I think there was definitely some kind of conflict between you at one point, whether it was direct or passive aggressive. There was some kind of conflict here between you. 
And yeah, there's something hidden with the Two of Swords that's not quite being shown. But once again, with that messenger card that we saw earlier, and then the um, the attic, what was it um, Afraid of the Attic? You're going to find out something through, once again, either a mutual acquaintance or something that you see um, on social media or something that's revealed to you, um, like with the Two of Swords. So that's hmm, something interesting there. Not sure quite what that is, but um, you may know intuitively what it may be pertaining to if you think about it. Um, okay, so one last piece of imagery. We have um, second house owning. So yeah, this person definitely, like I said earlier, feels quite entitled to things. Maybe either based on um, whatever like demographic they're a part of or some kind of like status that they feel that they have or some form of like uh, categorization that they um, or some kind of category that they associate themselves with which may or may not actually be founded in reality but this person is very entitled um they i think they place a pretty big emphasis on owning things um so they might actually be an earth sign by earth sign i mean um virgo capricorn taurus so i'm really getting some strong earth energy um in their astrological chart I think this person for some reason feels like with the way the world is structured at the current moment they may feel like they were cheated in life or like something but they see i think ultimately here they see you as somebody who has something that they don't have when it comes to either some kind of like opportunity opportunities in life or maybe even like a certain social standing or maybe you know the right people or they feel like you know the right people whether that's true or not or they just feel that you have something that they don't have that somehow gives you an edge that they don't have um yeah it, this could even be like status, financial, even maybe just like your appearance. Like you may, you may also be quite ambitious yourself. You may be quite, uh, you know, you might actually have a lot of dreams and um, you strive for things. But they, I think they ultimately see you as having an edge that they don't have, whatever that edge may be. And they feel somewhat cheated. And I think that's why they're keeping tabs on you here um after that conflict or collision or whatever like situation that happened where uh there was a re resulting separation from this conflict um so this person is definitely keeping tabs on you and i'm almost getting that they are yeah they're definitely um keeping tabs on your social media um, like almost getting this feel that they sort of stay awake at night um just looking into this this like screen like maybe their phone or their computer screen and it's like in darkness like so they're it's almost like they're like laying in bed or laying um or sitting in darkness just like staring into the screen like staring into the screen of their phone their tablet their um computer whatever it is um and they're checking up on your social media and yeah but it looks like there will be something revealed to you soon um like i said earlier something's not quite revealed to you yet but it will be um through once again a messenger or message of some kind either you're going to hear something from a mutual acquaintance or see something on social media or something you will see something so definitely expect that and yeah so i hope this was uh informative like uh comment subscribe share if this resonated with you uh group one for this teapot and i want to remind you again that i now have an etsy page um where you can get personal email readings from me and the link to that etsy page is in the description box below so without further ado i am going to move straight into group two let me just move these cards
Okay, so here we have group two. So we have this uh, Voss here, this green vase Voss. And so let's see what's going on. So who's spying on you? Who is spying on you right now, group two? So we have the five of wands, we have the seven of cups, and then we have the nine of swords. Okay, so I'm getting some energy from this person that they're quite outspoken. Like, they're not the quiet, like, uh, was it, a um, wilting flower type. This person is loud. They're kind of rambunctious. They're the type that just kind of, like, says things on their mind almost, like, in an impulsive way without really thinking. And I'm almost getting that you already had a bit of conflict or maybe they were caught in the act of like gossiping about you or like throwing some shade your way. Um, like that happened already and you might know who this person is already actually. But I'm really getting some strong fire sign energy from them. So like um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo in their astrological placements. And I'm also getting that they like the color red um maybe they like to wear red a lot they have like reddish tones in their hair they like to wear red lipstick or something but they something to do with the color red i don't know if that rings a bell here um this person is very jealous of you like with the seven of cups i'm seeing that they have all these ideas and like delusions in their mind about what you're doing and so yeah they're definitely keeping tabs on you i think they're probably um tending to sort of like ask about you a lot maybe like behind the scenes like to maybe mutual parties or like people that you might know like they might be like asking about you or like trying to get some like crumbs you know like what are they up to like um, but they have all kinds of like, it's like they're sort of creating this narrative in their mind. Um, this person's pretty, yeah, they're jealous and they're kind of insecure here. Um, so nine of swords. Yeah, this person, I think for some of you, it might have even been like this person is an ex. And for others of you out there, this person might have been like someone who feels like you rob them of their crush or like their the person that they had feelings for like they feel like you rob them of like their love or their lover or something like that um because yeah i'm seeing that they have all these thoughts and like delusions and like paranoid sort of ideas about you i'm almost getting from for some reason for for a lot excuse me um, for a lot of you guys, if this is an ex, they are sort of having these delusions, like wondering what you're up to, like who are they seeing now, like are they moving on without me, like those kind of like, you know, crazy thoughts in their minds. Um, and for others of you, this could be like someone who somehow thinks that you robbed them of their crush or something like that, somebody that they were eyeing, but this is more this isn't really based in re based in reality with the nine of swords um nine of swords usually indicates um just paranoid sort of anxiety like insecurity that's not usually based in reality uh yeah that's kind of interesting uh Yeah, I'm definitely getting from these cards that this person's more bold, more spontaneous, more loud. They're more like impulsive and you're more like a calm sort of energy. And I'm seeing that maybe that frustrates them. Like they might think like, oh, like they're acting, you know, like they're better than me. Or maybe like you tended to um, not really like speak your mind around them because you didn't really trust them. And they had like these ideas that probably weren't even true it's like they're projecting these ideas onto you like oh who do they think they are like they think they're better than me like maybe they were kind of projecting these ideas onto you that probably weren't true but either way they're definitely looking into your social media um maybe even like asking about you um 
to like mutual sources to figure out like what you're doing and they have all these like paranoid sort of like ideas and delusions about what you're up to basically um so this is more so just like not really based in reality so it's just all kinds of thoughts they might even be like dreaming about you um having like dreams nightmares about you wow okay so let's look at some more images so here we have everything you need to soon someone soon and then we have the one who hides the sun So I'm getting from this that, okay, this is another reason why they might kind of not like you for some reason is because they think that you have a lot of things that they don't and they don't really see you. Maybe they have this idea that you're not appreciative of the things that you have. Like maybe they think you're just like, um, yeah, like they think that you think that you're like better than them or you have all these things, but then they... Um, they're like, oh, they don't appreciate what they have, like that kind of thing. Um, I'm also getting like something around like Valentine's Day for some reason might have some significance like around Valentine's Day. Like there, there might have been something that happened around that day. Um, so you may want to, I don't know if that rings a bell. Um, and then here we have someone soon. So I'm seeing that whether this is in the form of like a friend or a romantic relationship or whoever it is like somebody who makes you smile someone who makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside they're going to come along and offer either some words of advice or some comfort here um, when it comes to this whole situation like you're going to be hearing something good soon from someone and it's going to feel nice and reassuring um, whatever this connection is that is coming in or like a reconnection of some kind and then here we have the one who hides the sun so yeah this person just doesn't want to see this is the type of person who just doesn't can't handle seeing other people be happy like it makes them unhappy they it makes them, I think it makes them feel insecure, like almost like when, when they see somebody who has a lot of abundance showered on them, I think this person feels like they're coming from a feeling of scarcity where they're like, they just feel like there's not enough abundance, not enough good luck or not enough like prosperity or good things to go around in the world. They feel like there's a limited supply of positivity to go around and so they just they're that's just their personality so let's move on so here we have the page of swords and then we have the knight of pentacles and then we have the nine of cups so i'm seeing here that yeah this person ultimately feels super insecure you know, pretty much supporting everything that, you know, I just said with the previous cards. Um, they just feel very insecure. They feel like ultimately like, like how they're kind of like wondering, like, how do you have the things that you have? How are you doing the things that you're doing? And I'm almost getting the sense that you have this air of like class about you. Um, this air of like, you may, you may be a bit reserved, like you have this sort of, um, like this put together look, um, and kind of just classy, maybe like, um, you're like graceful or something like that. But I'm seeing that you have quite a bit of, um, manifestation energy here is really strong with you. Um, uh, maybe even like the ability to use, um, like energetic alchemy to take things and then turn them into abundance um almost like the Midas touch like everything that you touch um figuratively turns to gold or something like prosperous and this person sees these things that are happening probably either through social media or this could even be through linkedin or through uh, maybe even just like third parties, like hearing things about you from third uh, third party acquaintances or something like that. But this person feels very insecure ultimately. And it's really not about you. It's mostly about them and their feeling of 
lack like they're coming from a place of like feeling like they're lacking whether that's true or not but with the nine of swords that we got earlier i'm seeing that this is more like in their heads like they're just sort of that's just their personality like just sort of anxious kind of paranoid um it's just not healthy i'm not getting a healthy vibe here um yeah Ooh. Lastly, last piece of imagery, we have Scorpio, I transform. Wow. Okay, so that was kind of a surprise. I mean, because based on all the cards that we got, I was thinking you're more of a... I was honestly thinking you you were more of like a um, Venusian energy, like either Taurus or Libra. But with the Scorpio energy, you can be a Venus or... I mean, a um, Taurus or Libra possibly in your astrological placements however i'm seeing that you have some really significant scorpio placements either that um or you have really strong traits of a scorpio but you can look up um your astrological or natal chart and check to see if you have any scorpio placements in your chart and i would really research um, those placements if you do have them because i'm seeing that you have really strong some strong traits of a scorpio where it counts especially when it comes to you know like i talked about earlier like the ability to sort of use um energetic alchemy to like transform things um like you transform like figuratively you you, you can transform like um water into wine or like um like copper into gold you know just like from a figurative energetic sense um like turn nothing into something that's lucrative or abundant or prosperous and yeah ultimately you have the ability to sort of like energetically transform things and maybe situations around you um like turning um lemon and lemons into lemonade for instance um but you also have this incredible ability to transform yourself um almost like you're using like energetic alchemy but like through yourself somehow like and i think this person whenever they see you doing these things um they're like how is this person doing this like what sorcery is this basically but they're not realizing that you know their focus on you know comparing themselves to other people that's coming from a lower vibrational energy and ultimately it's coming from a place of scarcity and like an energy of a feeling of lacking and that's not helping them however um so once again this is more about them not about you so i think you should just do you and just keep doing what you're doing because you have this incredible ability to transform situations and things and um use them to your advantage and also the ability to transform yourself but once again this person sees that and they're just like wow like how are they doing this and then it makes them feel insecure and i think that's why ultimately they're keeping tabs on you here um they're keeping tabs on you for sure uh, most likely through social media and through third party like friends mutual friends mutual acquaintances but um i am really seeing here that with this card they're definitely connected to you through social media and they may even be sort of like checking out like who you've been talking to like who you're connected to like um who you're friends with like that kind of thing like sort of checking out your social media to see like what surrounds you you know when it comes to like people or situations or opportunities around you um they may even be checking out like all your social media accounts look at this um that's just the energy that i'm getting if this is you um but ultimately they feel inspired by you but even if they are th throwing sh shade your way they may even be sort of like emulating you emulating you sometimes like copying you basically and you know what they say like um emulation is the uh highest form of flattery so the fact that they're sort of like copying you and trying to like sort of take your ideas or whatever it is um just be flattered and maybe try to have a bit of compassion for this person i would say um but they are yeah but they are technically sort of like um maybe they have toxic tendencies um but this is coming from more like their feeling of lack or their personal insecurity so it's not really about you so i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about it too much 
So like, comment, subscribe, uh, share if this resonated with you. And I just want to remind you again, group uh, two for this a card that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me and the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, I'm going to move straight into group three. So here we have group three for this uh, pink teapot. Very, very cute. So let's see who's spying on you. Yeah, let's get straight into it. So who is spying on group three, the pink teapot group? So here we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, ooh, and then we have the King of Swords. Lots of Swords energy here. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles, I'm getting some strong Earth placements um, in this person's astrological chart. So actually either um, Earth or Air. So by earth sign, I mean they could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or um, a Taurus. And by air sign, they could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But I'm getting that um, you may have dated in the past, or, but I'm more so getting the strong sense that they feel rejected by you for some reason. Like they feel like you didn't, like you withheld something from them, whether that was even true or not. Like they feel like you didn't give them something that they wanted from you. Something that this could be anything, um, but I'm also getting this vibe that this could have even been like through energy. Like maybe they tried to provoke you or get attention from you or some maybe even affection and you just didn't give it to them because you just you didn't want to and you didn't feel that they deserved it or you know maybe you just weren't into them or you just weren't wanting to give in to whatever they're asking of you and so they feel like ultimately like you withheld something from them that they feel like was theirs and getting this vibe of entitlement from this person maybe even bordering, bordering on a bit of um like greedy energy like this person is the type of person to maybe hoard things um so yeah some greedy energy this person I'm getting this energy that they are kind of on the reserved side um they don't really like to spend a lot of money they don't wear a lot of colors they wear very like um primary colors like white black gray um they are the type of person who doesn't really like to show emotion in public um like maybe they're kind of like fake or just um more on like the sort of um like sneaky side like they just they don't really like to show their true face in public like that's what i'm getting for some reason they're very guarded guarded energy um i'm also getting the uh impression that wow you were you pretty much put your foot down with this person you did not go easy on this person when it comes to putting them in their place whatever the situation was and Ultimately, I'm seeing that you did the right thing because um, these actions that I'm seeing that you took towards this person, whoever this person is and whatever the situation was, I'm seeing that this was coming from a place of truth, these actions, and I'm seeing that you're quite straightforward personality-wise. Um, I'm kind of like a no BS, like take no prisoners type of personality, strong personality, um, possibly. You may have um, either earth or air elements. I'm getting some strong air placements in your astrological chart. Um, so Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini, somewhere um, in your astrological chart. Um, this person though, seems to kind of be the type to energetically like want an eye for an eye like they feel like you didn't give them something that was owed to them which i'm sensing that they're entitled and they're a bit delusional here when it comes to that um it's just like this feeling of entitlement that they don't it's not really based on reality it's just kind of like what they think they deserve but they don't actually deserve but this person i'm getting that they're kind of vindictive they don't have a very big heart like they're the type of person that like if they feel a little bit cheated by somebody or like oh this person you know did me wrong like they tend to get really butt hurt about it <laughs> i don't know if you know the term yeah butt hurt but they <laughs> you should look it up this person gets very easily butt hurt by things 
and they're vindictive. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to some more messages here. So we have love grows love, restlessness, and dependency. So this person, whoever this person is, I think that they're obsessed with you or they were obsessed with you for some reason. Um, maybe romantically or maybe they just like see you as, um, you know, like those when like um, celebrities have like stalkers or okay, maybe that's a bit extreme. But you know when celebrities have like people that are obsessed with them, but who constantly like throw shade at them on their social media accounts or whatever it is or like. Um, it's almost like a form of like obsession, but like it's expressed in a way that is negative. This probably has more to do with them and their own like psychological issues than with you. So I probably I wouldn't worry about that. Um, but here I'm seeing that they are oh my gosh, they are obsessed. They okay, see all these eyes right here. This is like they are. Oh my god okay you guys i would just be careful of this person um like you ever feel i'm not saying that they're dangerous but just in case i mean just you know better safe than sorry i guess is the term or the phrase i would honestly um if you ever feel like you are um not safe i would um tell people around you um just to make sure but that's only if you don't feel safe um, this may not apply to you because this is a general reading, so just take whatever resonates, take it as it resonates with you um, specifically. But this person, I'm seeing that they are obsessed. Um, they've been on the clock checking out your social media. Almost like I'm getting like every hour they've been looking at your social media accounts. They might have even, if this is like a form of romantic interest, they might have even like found your um accounts like on dating sites and they're like checking you out on there if this isn't a romantic interest this person is just very obsessed for some reason um this is i'm getting some yeah obsessed energy here you may be fine but if ever you don't feel safe i would definitely um take the right precautions safety precautions if you will um talk about it with people that you trust and feel safe with like friends and family um just in case you know if 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 you don't feel safe if you feel fine then you know take whatever resonates leave what doesn't um so here we have dependency and seeing that this person somehow this goes deeper than just feelings of kind of being obsessed or whatever or like following you on social media. I'm seeing that this has something to do with some kind of inner child issues with themselves, um, like stemming from childhood. Maybe they felt like there was somebody who they felt weren't uh, wasn't affectionate with them in the way that maybe like a parent or someone, like maybe their first love or whoever this person is, neglected this person and so they have a lot of like trauma i think emotional trauma when it comes to feeling deprived or feelings of someone depriving them of something they feel more sensitive about it they feel more intense about it than other people um, whenever they feel like somebody's depriving them or withdrawing something from them either emotionally uh physically energetically whatever it is so this person i think that's ultimately the root cause of this sort of obsession of some kind um this might not be like a super serious obsession um i mean this is a general reading so this could be like a wide spectrum so just keep that in mind um so here we have the king of wands we have the four of wands and then we have magician Okay, you guys, uh, King of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Magician. Okay, so I'm just going to be honest with what I see here. Um, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with everyone. However, um, I am seeing that this person, I'm getting the sense that they probably were a past romantic interest. Not all of you, but 
a big chunk of you. I think this is somebody that, whether they realize it or not, they harbor some kind of like romantic interest towards you. Um, if this person is not a former ex or somebody who is interested in you or someone who's attracted to you, potentially, this could just be someone who sort of like sees you as an attractive person. 